Good afternoon, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. It's good to see all your smiling faces. I'm just gonna go quickly over a couple new items that I received out of my Amazon Prime to help with my filming around the homestead. So let's dive right into it. So first, I'm going to dive right into this neat little unit that I received um, from Small Rig uh, through Amazon, or you can go directly to smallrig.com and uh, check out their selection of uh, photography and uh, cinematic uh, accessories there. Uh, this here is the Small Rig Ball Head 1138. I purchased this for $9.99 US dollars. I'm gonna show you that right now knob down here it uh, locks that baby in place um, you've got 360 degrees articulation there so uh, you can attach more accessories like um, monitors or small lights to your cameras um, and then this clamp down here of course mounts to um, different objects um, for example I've got a small piece of uh, electrical conduit here that I'm just going to um, wind down on this. Now we're going to try a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe. This stuff is readily available at any one of your local home improvement stores and I've got that locked on there nice and tight. So I'm super excited to use this clamp um, to start getting some new shot angles with my smartphone as I do not have enough money to purchase a DSLR um, right now. So I am using my Samsung Galaxy S5. That's what I am filming this video um, with right now. So let's move on to the next piece of equipment that I'm excited to show you. So in this box here from Amazon, I purchased a Chrome Lives or Chrome Lives 11 inch. Um, sometimes it's called a magic arm or an articulating arm, a friction arm. It's got many names. I purchased this for $15.99 US. This also features a 360 degree um, swivel ball head at both ends. You have this single control knob which releases and engages the tension on this which gives you the ability to move this um, at any degree that you would uh, so desire and move this at whatever angle this uh, double end here. Um, so if you want to attach anything um, on this quarter inch thread, uh, say devices like an LCD monitor, microphone, smartphones, um, you know, let your imagination run wild. And then on this end, you've got a hot shoe mount on this other end for a DSLR camera. Um, you know, you can mount this to a rolling slider dolly, um, any device that has a standard hot shoe. And then once you get your angles how you like them, you just simply screw down this single knob here and everything now is locked in place nothing is moving with that one knob so i'm going to use this chrome lives or chrome lives friction arm in conjunction with this small rig ball head clamp and start getting some new uh different angles to mount my camera in projects around the shop and around the homestead. So I will show you that setup now. And what I'm going to do now is right here you have this um, hot shoe mount. You can just unscrew this whole assembly off. And now you have two um, quarter and um, 20 threads right here um, to screw onto the bottom of your camera or what other device attachments you may so desire. And right now I've got this locked, so 
none of this is moving. It's all locked up. You have a pivot point here, you have a pivot point here, and then you have a pivot point here. So once you loosen this, you can move this thing round and round. You can move these up and down and round and round as you so desire. I'm going to screw this into the small rig um, ball head. And now I can hook whatever device I so desire on this other end and I can clamp this to say the side of um, a table, which I'm going to um, show for you now. I have this little um, Sony CyberShot 16 megapixel camera. I've had this for a couple of years and we are going to um, just wind this onto the quarter and 20 end right here. And now I have this camera um, mounted on here. And now we're going to start mounting this to a couple of things to see what we can do here. You can see that I've got it mounted to my display table. Just clamped it on there. Now I've got the um, articulating arm and I have the camera uh, pointed at my subject you know, whether it be this piece or um, what I may be recording at the time. And here is another angle of the magic arm. Once you undo your knob, everything becomes fluid. And once you lock that knob up, at whatever angle you've got all these different ball joints at, it locks everything up. Nothing's moving. And I can mount this thing to two by fours. I can mount this thing to pipes. Um, my imagination is only beginning from here. And once I do that single-handed knob, I can get another angle of my work. Is another view. Um, this is just a piece of one inch uh, bar stock coming off of a wood clamp that I have in the shop and uh, just taking that clamp mounting it on there and then when i undo this knob as mentioned before everything completely articulates if i needed to do a shot above my workbench let's say shooting bird's eye down i could turn the camera that way and um, shoot directly bird's eye down um, if I needed to undo this clamp and maybe get, you know, a shot underneath the fender well, yes, my shot would be upside down, as you can see here um, in this um, angle. But in post, I could easily reverse that image if, say, I was trying to get into a really difficult spot somewhere. I could just mount that camera underneath there like so, and this thing locks up and we're good to go. What I really like about this setup is the price. The uh, Magic Arm or Friction Arm was $15.99 and the Small Rig Ball Head was $9.99. So I was about $27. I use Amazon Prime. Um, this uh, clamp here also came with this little teeny um, double ball head here as well okay guys this is going to wrap it up for um, the new additions to my filming here on the homestead again we've got the uh, chrome libs um, articulating friction arm this was uh, $15.99 um, came with this hot shoe the camera did not come with um, and then i have the uh, small rig ball head here this is what came with this uh, clamp right here. I was really shocked at how many things, this is just a little rubber pad that's uh, um, glued in here. I was really shocked at how well this clamp, you know, how many things that this clamp um, mounted to. It's really shocking right now, open all the way. Um, I would say you've got a two and a quarter inch, two and a quarter inch opening there. Um, 
how much of a bite you're going to get on something at that point, I don't know. But uh, I had uh, no problem at all um, getting a hold of this uh, pipe here that's, uh, you know, one inches in diameter. And then I have this conduit here as well that was um, a little over half inch there. Um, and then it, you know, your standard two by four. Everybody's got a, a two by four in their house, inch and a half wide, um, was no problem to go inside the clamp. So if you're looking to add some new angles, some new shots, get in those difficult places, check out uh, my affiliate links below. Um, and that's how you can support our channel. And uh, pick these up, you know, for 25 bucks, this is gonna open up a whole new world for your photography, for your YouTube, for your vlogging adventures. So uh, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe below as there'll be no more videos coming up here on the homestead um, with filming equipment I do. Uh, we do all sorts of things around the homestead and this is just gonna be so awesome to have to help me bring that footage to you guys. So thanks for watching and uh, have yourself a good day.